Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Lukafo and today we'll be talking about the new elephant in the room which is UDIM support in the Blender 2.82. So if you don't have it, you should really try check it out. I'll try to leave a link in the description where you could download it from. So what is UDIM? Um, before we continue, I want to talk about <laughs> Another big issue which I had with my last video, you guys were complaining about the dog barking. Um, honestly, I wish I could do something about it, but it's not my dog. Um, it's the dog of my neighbor, and right now it's not barking because it's like one, one almost 1:30 a.m. So the dog is definitely sleeping. Um, yeah, so you guys should stop saying I, I live in a shelter filled with dog. Okay, so let's get back into the tutorial. So I've already arranged a simple example to really explain the difference between UVs and UDIM. So UDIM doesn't mean um, that you should do away with UVs. So I want to make you guys understand when to use it, uh, when to use UVs and when to use the UDIM feature. So let's just switch to our EV preview. So this is a um, the example I've set up and let me explain what's going on here so this object are using the same material let me prove it to you guys so this is one material and so as you can see let's just call this plain test mat so this is one material but it's giving different results and it's using everything in the same but when you preview the material you can see different results um, okay so what's going on here why is UDEM 18 and why should we even consider it so when um, working with 3d always uh, most of the times when you're texturing um, you run out of resolution um, and then the reason you know you've run out of resolution is because when you go really close to it you start getting pixelated details okay and that's quite uh that's a problem because most of the times when you go closer to it you want to have like really crisp detail um, very sharp detail so one way to fix that is um you decide to increase the resolution so maybe you had 1k texture so you decided to increase it to like 2k texture and then you found find out that 2k is not enough you need to increase it to 4k and 4k is not enough and then you need to increase it to 8k and probably 8k will do the trick um if that's not enough i i don't know what's gonna do the trick for you um but yeah um that has always worked for a while um but there's a big problem with this is that problem is that it slows down the render or it has a very big impact on the render because when you hit render um, the render engine has to load in all the textures so the higher resolution um, your textures are the more memory it's going to require to load in those texture so over time um, it either crashes the render or probably just disrupts your whole project and you just have to find another way to be able to get those detail into your final um, animation or movie Okay, so the big studios and the CG industry as a whole came up with a new solution, which is UDEM. Um, so what UDEM does is, um, let me show you, I think it's better if I show you. So what's happening here, if I, I'm just scaling this, but you can notice that we are getting more resolution um, with the UDEM compared to the UV um, settings. So for us to even get higher resolution for the UV, we need to go really high, but you can see the kind of crisp detail um, that we're getting in the UDIM. So let me show you that. So if I select the UDIM and go into edit mode, um, you can see that each of these faces has its own island or has a very large, has been scaled to a very large, large portion. And what that means is that more uh, resolutions or more information can be put uh, can be stored into this space okay so you should look at it that way so if it's small you have small information can be stored in this space so to store more information with less resolution you need to be able to scale up the UV map 
and then you can store more information with less resolution so that's basically what udem aims um, so for this to be able to work you need more that you need multiple tiles and the udem gives you the ability to have multiple tiles and yeah and the way you can achieve this is by just hitting the plus and adding multiple tiles so you as the more you increase you 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 can add have like up to 1000 ties if the project requires uh, requires it so you can just scale up every section of your uv island big enough so you can store enough texture information inside it so that's basically what the whole drama is all about so as you can see you can get more details into and this is just like uh, okay uh, even 1k image most of the times is okay um, for it to work okay so let me show you guys how to set it up in blender okay so um, what we'll be using for this I think let's do it again with um, let's recreate it so I will just duplicate this one here okay and let's delete all the materials so this is what we have here in the scene and I'm going to enable my screencast key so you can follow along okay so this is let's say this is your final model and it's time for UV unwrapping so do you know the normal drill you select everything and hit you and unwrap and it gives you your UV map okay so uh, if you want to go maybe your project don't require you to require you to go really high resolution so you can just stick with your uv map but if your project requires you to get really high res very close to your final render um, then you need a system whereby you could use less res less resolution but high details um, to come through so that's when you decide to use udem so for this instance we need to use udem and if we hit the end key and make sure you're using blender 2.8 if not you're not going to be able to see this feature blender 2.82 um, so if you hit the end key you want to go to this image and right now nothing is present here so for you to be able to use this udem feature you need to create a new texture map you need to create a new texture map here yeah. um, so you hit new so let's call this udim texture okay um, you can leave the width and height as default um, what you want to make sure you check um, is this tiled so when you want udim you need to click on tiled okay so once you do that um, you have started the journey um, so now you can see you have this new parameter which is udem tiles excuse me okay so you have this new parameter udem tiles and you can see this number here okay so blender this is quite easy here in blender in maya it's a bit more complicated because um, you have lots of spaces and the basic rule for this is that avoid the negative um, direction so as you say as you know uv is just a different translation of x and y so u stand from stands for x and v stands for y so you want to always stay in the position positive um axis so if you want to create a udim going up you would make sure it's going up and never going down if you want to make a udim going sideways you want to make sure it's going right and never going left okay so um, let's create our first styles so what I want to do now is create individual ties for each of these faces so we have one two three four five six so I want six styles so I'll hit OK hit OK four five six okay so we have one two three four five six six styles and then we want to unwrap it so you could just grab it make sure you have your face select um, then you can just select the face and scale it up okay so this can apply to any of your assets sci-fi asset character assets this applies to it so you just select place and scale okay I'm using the L key 
I think that's not visible here because the screencast case is not showing. But I use the LK to like just select the face. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so yeah, we've unwrapped the UDIM. Okay, and <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is a bit. Um, husky because it's late and i should be i should be sleeping by now um okay so we've unwrapped it and yeah so that's all you need to do for now. you need to do about the unwrapping when you're done with this you can go out of edit mode and blender by default recognizes that this is a UD map and also um, if you're using software like zbrush and substance painter the software also recognize when your object has a UDIM map. Okay, so let's create a new material based of this new UV map we have. So let's um, add the checker texture. And let's also add in the vector, oh no, UV coordinate. We want to set it to UV and now you see it's working okay so that's just the basic drill so the next question is hey Eman, how what about if you want to uh, paint or texture paint with this it's quite it's straightforward um, all you need to do is create a new texture image so you add your image texture connect connect it to the color hit new and you choose the base resolution so let's say one um, 10k is okay for this project and we don't really need to worry about details because this is going to hold more detail than a default uv map is going to hold so 1k would go a very long way with this kind of system okay um so let's call this um planes plain texture okay and let's give it just nice gray okay and also let's add our UV map so that it knows to use a UV coordinate okay so once you've done that you want to select your object go into texture paint mode so if I right click here and show tools so here we can make sure we set the mode to material I think you can set it to image um, but you need to select the right one yeah um, but sorry, let me see material okay so yeah oh sorry I missed an important step um, so when you create your image because I you know we are getting like a very weird effect so you want to make sure you have tile checked okay and um, that was my mistake and yeah so we set it to UV and yeah as you can see if we go to texture paint we can grab our fill brush select this and let's see if we could isolate fill it um, okay so this is a good learning point um, I have a problem here that this is sh all showing um pink color and that means blender cannot recognize the texture okay so let's see how we could work around that okay um so we're looking for the insert uh, uh, so this is what we are looking for the untitled image so we want to hit one two three four five six okay do we have everything we need 
okay so we don't need the last one so we are good now and next um, we want to fill in the different boxes so let's so we'll just have a base color to work with we'll fill this green we'll fill this up with just random colors so you you can see if it's working um, probably you could even use same color okay but automatically most software recognizes this um, yeah let's save this out to my desktop and let's load it in again so the random images it saved um, it will look single like you'll find it different like it's an is different images okay um, but blender is going to automatically recognize that image so as you can see you just need to select just one and everything will load appropriately and this also applies to other software like zbrush and substance painter and of course mari okay and now we can grab our texture paint brush um, let's make sure we're in the right place so texture paint and so as you can see it's going to apply everything to the entire texture so that's really awesome so we can start painting so we can okay and it's applying everything and we're getting really high quality textures which is what is practically practically impossible to get if we had used a single uv image okay and this was fun because it was also a nice learning process for me and i'm going to be definitely using this feature um, because it's really awesome and thank thanks so much to the developer that worked on this you guys are awesome um yeah so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can suggest it to more blender users and if you wish to see more for me why not just hit that subscribe button down there and don't forget to hit the bell so you can get tickled anytime i upload it okay that sounds weird so you can get an update when i upload another video okay so bye bye for now um i'm